Good morning. So uh, my presentation is about the future of design, how AI is going to change the way we create. Design is all around us. It is part of how um, it basically helps in the way we create. It enhances our lives. And it is really, really, uh, I would say it makes our lives easier. It makes our lives more meaningful. And it makes it more enriching. Design, it can truly help in making fun something functional and something that is even more engaging. But what happens when we combine design and artificial intelligence? Well, heart, as you can see here, it is the engine of creativity. It is also the source of our passion, our intuition, and our empathy. AI is the fuel that can truly take design to the next level. AI and the heart together can create something really magical. Let me take you to a personal story of mine, or rather tell you about it. I wanted to take my family for a vacation to a city in Europe. And uh, I wanted to take them to a place which was very serene, beautiful. It had cobblestone streets, and it was also surrounded by mountains and forts. I, as always, reached out to my travel agent, and I asked for a recommendation, but I got nothing. So like everybody else these days, we, uh, I reached out to ChatGPT, and I gave in a prompt there, asking for my requirements. And within no time, prompt came the reply with the perfect destination and also the travel requirements, along with the accommodations, suited for my three-year-old. The city in question is Tbilisi in Georgia. AI thus helped me to find the perfect kind of a solution and personalize an experience that I couldn't have even imagined remotely before. People, just imagine your journey with computers over the last six decades. We started off with batch processing, where we basically told computers what to do step by step, just like following a recipe. Then came command-based interaction design, where we specified certain commands to get certain outputs. Now, we have entered the era of the third paradigm, that is generative AI where we tell a computer what to do, and it pretty much does it for us. It's like having a magic genie that truly fulfills your wishes without you having to specify every single detail. With generative AI, computers have evolved beyond being command takers to truly understanding your desires. Your wish is their command. Well, AI, it can not only understand what you, what you want and what your customers desire, but it can also help personalize and customize customer-centric design. It can help in creating, or rather, far, um, you can say, ac uh, accelerating the iteration and prototyping when it comes to design. It can also help in providing clarity and precision by ensuring that you are re uh, retrieving data from uh, large amounts, and the kind of insights that it gives you helps in creating a great enhanced experience backed by facts. That is when we create a design that is truly magical, just like the aroma of a perfectly brewed cup of coffee. Well, nothing goes better than coffee than a great story or a great visual. But the stories that I love were never created in, um, they were never created in words, they were always created in visuals. As an ardent admirer of photography, I have always admired photographs which could convey an emotion without really specifying it out in words. In 2010, I started my photography journey with a DSLR camera. And with a lot of trial, experimentation, and error, I finally, over the last decade and a half, have created many memories. With the generative AI, how it has been evolving in technology, I soon realized that leveraging AI tools would truly take my photography to the next potential. And software like Photoshop and Lightroom, they have been around for quite some time. They really helped me to create a different vision from my, from my visuals. Certain tools like sky replacement and neural filters, they helped me to create photographs which were once unimaginable. Just to give you an example, the sky, it was pretty much dark and cloudy when we set out for Tal Chapar. This is a very popular sanctuary in Rajasthan known for black bucks. But suddenly the clouds disappeared, 
and the sun shone through. The only way that I could have given the dramatic effect to my visuals was if I was able to recreate those clouds in some way. Sky replacement as a filter and a tool really helped me to get the visual that I so desired. Another example would be black and white photography where it truly captures the soul of a subject. But what if we were to bring that subject to life with color? Neural filters do exactly that. Just by the click of a button, you can simply color your photographs in a very realistic and aesthetically appealing way. So AI has a lot to offer as examples. This is another example where I, uh, so earlier this year, the embassy area in New Delhi was adorned by a lot of tulips, and I had made this uh, portrait composition. But for a recent magazine submission, they had required a landscape format. Obviously, I hadn't clicked it at that point of time. So generative fill came to my aid, and within a couple of iterations and a few minutes of work, I was able to generate and fill in the missing gaps of the composition. OK, now here's a question for uh, all of you. I have used generative fill in this visual in some parts to basically fill it up and create it. Any guesses where you think the generative fill would have been used? Um, any guesses? Anybody? Say left side, right side, top, center, just, just a weekend. Sorry, left side, this side? Sorry? Front of the car, this, this side, right? The top, OK. So let me just uh, clear that up for you. This is what the original photograph was. It was captured with a mobile camera. Rest, everything that you see here on the right was created through generative AI. So it's a very small example, but that is the power of how AI is able to help out. Um, now that you've answered a quiz question, let me ask you a movie trivia. How many of you can guess this movie it was directed by Steven Spielberg. It was released in 1991. It garnered over $900 million. And it was also the Academy Award uh, winner for special effects in three different categories. Anybody who's been following movies, just generally go back to 1991 and just guess what this movie could be. Sorry? Uh, no. Anybody else? Somebody said? Jurassic Park. Absolutely. So this was one of the very first posters that was created to promote the movie. Now imagine if you were wanting to basically expand this canvas using the limited information that already exists. Yes, it is definitely achievable. We can work on it and we can create it, but there's a lot of texture and lighting that is happening here. But with generative AI, the canvas is unlimited. The creativity is unbound. So what we are trying to say here is that if you have the imagination, AI can deliver it for you. So far, we have talked about photos and visuals, which uh, where AI can help in creating stuff. But what if we were to start off on a clean plate, where photos and visuals didn't even exist? Coming back to my quote, if you have the imagination, AI has the imagery. Imagination, it is a very essential human skill. And it is imagination that differentiates design. So what with generative AI, imagination can be converted to imagery in just a matter of a few seconds. I have the, this very interesting statistic. In the last one and a half years, till August 2023, 15 billion images have been generated, which is equivalent to 149 years of photography. So in terms of contribution, stable diffusion with 12 and a half million, and Adobe Firefly with 1 billion, uh, sorry, both of them are in billion, so both these figures have contributed a lot when it comes to how people have started embracing AI in a very big way, and they started using it to explore their creativity, which was never, ever probably imagined before. Searching for uh, projects for your image, it always is challenging. You go to different kinds of sites, royalty-free sites. You try and mix and match the kind of visuals that you'd want. But thanks to these different image generators, now that is no longer as much of a challenge, it at least gives you a base to start off with, and you can leverage it to start using in your examples, or uh, your, proje uh, your pro projects, and so on and so forth. This was uh, for a recent stint. I was actually asked to create a render of a Roman soldier, but in the style of a Pixar character. 
again using one of these image generators, uh, which is Leonardo AI. It's, uh, it gives you free credits, and you can use it to quite an extent. I simply used a prompt as simple as this. All I needed to specify was that I wanted it in the character style of Pixar's Up, so that there was some kind of resonation with what we were talking about. Um, I'll just change gears in terms of any dog lovers here in the audience. OK. So in terms of uh, dogs, I am truly passionate about them. I love, obviously, uh, capturing them when they are running all over the place, because they are in the happiest elements at that point of time. So as you can see, this visual was also captured, or rather also created, with uh, using of prompts. And the prompt that you see here is very, very reflective of what real life situation would be. So just to break it down, I would like to just highlight how it works. As you can see, we are talking about what the vibe of the prompt would be. In terms of the framing, we are talking about a dog which is running. When we are talking about the shoot context, we are giving it what kind of an angle would this photograph have been captured in. Lighting prompt, uh, I love capturing golden sunsets and sunrises. That's why I wanted to give a prompt which reflected that. And in terms of lens and camera, I just thought, let's stick with an iPhone in terms of giving it that soft kind of blurriness. But very important is also to specify that there has to be a delay of one second, because that captures a little bit of blurriness on the dog's tail and everything. So just to tell you about how moving images are, well, this was one of them, which I was very, very uh, surprised and pleasantly happy with the results with. Speaking of moving images, uh, a video is basically a combination of multiple, multiple moving images. AI has made tremendous inroads into how we create, edit, and consume videos over the last couple of months. It has, from uh, rather creating stunning videos just with simple prompts, to actually enhancing videos using smart tools, AI has opened up the possibility for creators and consumers alike. Uh, there are tools like the, uh, I'll just take a sip of water, sorry. So there are tools like text to video generator, like Kyber, which is an industry standard now, and Pika Labs. They go a long way in terms of how video transition and effects are being made. When it comes to other tools, there are tools like Descript and Runway ML which help in ensuring that you can edit your scripts. They also help in enhancing your videos by providing AI effects and a lot more. Coming back to Kyber, it is tremendous the kind of results that it can get you just by using a simple prompt. Or you can feed in an image, or you can feed in a predefined video as a base, and you can build it off that. This visual that you see here was, again, used just by a simple prompt inside of the Kyber software. And I added animation to it by providing a certain kind of an art style, which is photoreal. And this is an important aspect to consider. Evolve is what kind of ensures that you have a subtle kind of a transition trying to keep the realism of the photo intact, or the visual that you have created intact. Another example would be I don't know how many of you have ever had the chance to visit Delhi, but this was a picture which was captured at the Lodi Art Colony uh, in New Delhi, which is filled with murals and uh, amazing artworks. At times, when you're standing in front of them, you almost feel like they will come into life. And well, with Kyber, that is pretty much a reality. So as you can see here, with a little bit of a change in my evolve settings, I was able to create a little more dynamism in the way this particular video is getting generated. Thank you. When it comes to, um, so here I would like to say, if you want to imagine one of your favorite product photographs, and you want to also envision it in a kind of a three-dimensional kind of a format, but how do you kind of ensure that that is the result that you can get? With Leopix Converter, it is, again, a matter of just a couple of settings. It really lets you 
create dynamic depth in your visuals, and you can give, get that proper parallax effect that we so sought after. So it helps even the most technologically inexperienced to create really immersive content. We have so far spoken about how photos, visuals, videos, and imaginative designs can be served to our customers. But ultimately, good design is not just about what is being served to our customers, it is how it is getting consumed by them. AI has made great inroads into analyzing the user experience and into also articulating what our customers are consuming, how are they consuming, and what elements of your design really dictate their experience on the platform. Figma, as we all know, is now an industry standard tool for all of us who are using UI uh, and a lot of UX as well. So it has paired with a lot of AI tools and companies which can give designers the liberty to generate ideas, automate tasks, and also customize their designs. When it comes to design, one of the biggest challenges we have is how are our customers perceiving our design? What are they looking at first? What are they clicking at next? In that regard, eye tracking solutions are the way, but they are generally very expensive and time consuming. That is where Attention Insight, a plugin, helps you to optimize your designs. It can really help you to figure out and analyze what part of your designs are lacking in terms of attention, how can you work on improving your visual hierarchy, and thus, with the kind of statistics and the percentages that you see on the screen, it can really tell you what you need to improve upon to make your designs way more engaging. So that's, again, some of the insights that this tool gets you, which, is, which I think is pretty, pretty remarkable. How many of you attended the config conference? I believe a lot of information was being shared there by this particular company uh, diagram, which got acquired by Figma. It's an AI company, and it has amazing tools. Like One of them is Magician, which lets you create icons simply by putting in a prompt. And these icons are infinitely scalable, and they can be used in your designs. Similarly, you have Magic Copy. Biggest challenge that designers have is trying to use the right kind of copy for your designs. Lorem Ipsum is pretty much a past. We need to move on from there. So Magic Copy helps you basically eliminate that aspect. Automator is yet another plugin. It helps you to create amazing color palettes just from a few limited colors. You can also import air tables, which are basically large databases directly into your design, helping you to reduce the kind of time and effort that otherwise would have been required. You can do batch resizing of icons in a matter of a couple of seconds, which otherwise would be very, very tedious and time-taking. And finally, it can also help you to outline your specifications, which is a very, very manual task when you're handing over your designs to the clients. Are we moving next? Yeah, sorry. So here, I would just like to highlight that when it comes to a kind of an idea that you have for a product or service, but you really don't know where to start. So for example, um, I basically put in an idea on a cue card saying that, OK, ways to get better with my AI presentation, which is pretty much for what I'm presenting to you here. Fig Jam has a plugin called Jambot. You can pretty much attach something like what you see here, an ID8 node. And with that, it can actually create an entire visual mind map for you. It can tell you what is it that you need to ideate on, how can you go about, if you need more instructions to understand what it is about. It tells you all that. You can do brainstorming. And the best part is that all of it is available because it leverages chat GPT within the platform itself. When it comes to font pairing, uh, the biggest challenge we have is finding similar contrast, or rather, I would say, good contrast between different fonts. So if we talk about font pairing, it can be done in different ways. We can either use sans serif and serif fonts, which is the standard way to go about it. You can also use uh, things like using fonts from the same family, but in different weights. 
but the problem is, is that the right way to go about it. FontJoy is one such platform which really helps you by leveraging AI, and it can provide you with good kind of similar and varied contrast to come up with a very good solution for the kind of fonts that you can create for your projects. In terms of color, we have something called as Color Mind, which uh, uses deep learning to analyze colors from different photos, videos, and popular art. You can create great harmonious color schemes using this particular tool. It can also create bootstrap UI designs. You can leverage those on something like a demo page. And as you can see here, you can keep iterating those harmonious color schemes that AI has helped create for you and use it to leverage your, uh, your design. I would finally want to just say that we have come a long way when it comes to the field of design. We have really made functional and aesthetically appealing designs, which have really made our lives more enjoyable and more fruitful. But as far as I'm concerned, this is still pretty much the journey that has just started for us. AI can truly make lives more effective by making our designs more accessible irrespective of whatever skills you may have, by increasing the shared design space, which ensures more collaboration and innovation. It can revolutionize the field of design, but we all know that AI gets its superhuman powers from the cognitive capabilities of humans. Sound is not working. <laughs> so, so anyways, in the end, all my digital avatar was wanting to say was that in the end, just explore your creativity and use AI as your new found magic genie. That's a wrap from my side. Thank you all for attending. Have a great day.